Justice Corey has a very regal presence about him. Prodigious hard worker. One of the kindest men one might find, and he has developed a role as a judge that is enviable. In the service, I was called as a, as a witness on a military tribunal process. There was a conviction, and uh, I still think it was unfair. Uh, I still think he was wrongfully convicted, and I must say that's really what got me going in taking up law. Well, the Honorable Peter Corey, without doubt, is one of the most eminent alumni of Osgoode Hall Law School and its whole distinguished history. I remember my first day of law school. Dean Falconbridge was lecturing on contracts and the clarity of his lecture was really quite inspiring. To have that sort of presentation was just wonderful. Well, Peter Corey presents as a very pleasant kind, considerate person, which he genuinely is. Uh, I mean, that's nothing, it's not a put on. Uh, but beneath all that, he's a very determined, uh, competitive person uh, who really, if he has sets his mind on achieving something, he works at it relentlessly. He has wonderful personal qualities, and among them are his respect for people and his empathy for people which is, uh, when you combine that with his passion for fairness, he was an excellent person to appoint to the Supreme Court of Canada as it was addressing its important jurisdiction under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. He was a dream boss. He involved us in every aspect of his job, involved us in the issues that he was concerned about, involved us in the job that he did, and it really felt like a group effort as opposed to a boss giving instructions to one of uh, his employees. When he retired from the court, we nominated him to serve as Chancellor of York University, which he did with great distinction. And I think he was very proud about how Osgoode has developed into being a school which is much larger, much more diverse, and has really shown uh, in its curriculum and in its programs a real commitment to access to justice and, and the administration of justice. There has to be that sense of fairness and integrity and that courage to stand up for someone who is being perhaps unfairly pursued you will be a fair judge because that's the greatest attribute of any judicial officer. For me, he is the perfect lawyer he, uh, and the perfect judge. He was uh, excellent as an advocate, excellent as a judge, certainly no pushover, but he dealt uh, with every issue, with every person, with respect and with civility and professionalism. And I would hold him up as a model for litigators today.